Oh, dinky do! it's just me, Scotty McClue, asking how are you? It's Sunday night, nothing gets past me, of course, and we're live on the big one, Facebook Live. The one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching. This is your big chance to have an alternative to the World Cup, to football. If it's not something you're used to seeing or doing, then here is your big chance. Come and join me, Scotty McClue, live on Sunday evening just for you saying dinky do. Now then, um, it's wonderful to be with you. I'm at an undisclosed location tonight. We're not uh, right at McClue Tower right now. And um, obviously I can't reveal exactly where I am. But lovely to be back with you. And uh, I hope you're enjoying the programme. And of course it's something new for you. It means you don't have to watch the football. So do come and join us, Scotty McClue Live, just for you, for as long as it takes. Let's hope the signal holds out. Hi, Scotty, and good evening from sunny Airdrie. <coughs> James Adamson says hello. Diana Marchand, hello. Lovely to have you with us. John O'Rourke, Dinky Do. You're watching Scotty McClure. And uh, do come and join us. Gerald Mackay, excellent. We'll give you a wave. Oh, you've gone too quickly. Dinky Do, pals, says John O'Rourke. Joseph Gibbons, hello, sir. Hello to you, Joseph. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do, Rap Hill there as well. And uh, I hope you've all enjoyed the World Cup. But I think it's time for an alternative. And you couldn't have a better alternative than Scotty McClue live just for you saying Dinky Do on Facebook Live. Good evening from Corfu, says John Finlay. Dinky Do, Scotty. All right, Scotty, says Rab Hill. Dinky Do, Rab. <coughs> Hi, Scotty. Hope you're well. Murray Ramage there. Hello, Scotty. How are you tonight? Dinky Do. Excellent stuff. Uh, good evening, Scotty, says Catherine Murray. Good evening, Catherine. Love Lovely to have you with us, and a special dinky do to you, of course. Pamela Lemon says dinky do. Hello, oi, oi, Scotty, says Ian Burke. There's Billy Hunter. Scotty, can you say a big hello to my hot wife, Sharon Hunter? I can, Sharon Hunter. Dinky do to you. Your man finds you hot. Uh, hi, Scotty. Dinky do, 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 do. Hi, Scotty. Jimmy Walker is in the house. He is indeed. Lovely to have you with us, and a very warm welcome. Welcome, I say. Uh, Ying Ong's watching. Ying Ong says hello. Hello to you, Ying Ong. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do, I say. I'm just moving you all along a tiny bit, and I shall move along as well. And there we are. We're all back together again, you see. Hello, says Ying Ong. I say to Ying Ong, hello. How are you? Fantastic stuff. Now, Obviously, we're right up against the World Cup, but tonight I'd like to talk, Scott Forbes watching there, tonight I'd like to talk about togetherness. Yeah, very, very important. Remember, if you've got a them and us, that's the only way you can have conflict. And I'm talking about togetherness tonight. Why can't we get things together? I hope you're well, Scotty. Come on, Croatia. So you can watch the World Cup and watch Scotty McClue alternative television at the same time. Sean Anderson, hi, Scotty, a big hunk of meat. I think we need to lose a little bit of the meat, to be quite honest. Good evening, Scotty. Hope you're going to be Ken Powell, says Thomas Hamilton. I did indeed, Thomas, and lovely to have you with us. I just popped up here tonight on spec to say dinky do to you. And cheers, Scotty. She's got a big red face now. Roberta White says, give Danielle White a shout out. Ah, all the men on wanting their wives to get a shout out from Scotty McClue and why not dinky do good evening Scotty this is Steve Burrows hot as a fish supper the weather says Derek Jimmy Walker Michael McGregor's watching welcome Michael lovely to have you with us and dinky do so this idea of togetherness right and um, why don't we discuss everything why don't we have a wider understanding so there you are Scotty are you in the better together campaign no I we're not in the better together campaign because I think Scotland could do so well independently but I'm a little bit anxious at the caliber of some of the people in the indie camp I had a swear this morning at six o'clock in the morning and had to block him good evening Scotty says Steve Burrows Charles McLaughlin's watching 
Excellent, Charles. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. I like your outfit, pal. I've just tidied myself up a wee bit because it's a mark of respect for you guys. You know what I say? You look a wee bit puffed out there, Scotty. Very, very puffed out, Rab. So very, very busy at the moment. And uh, we're absolutely maxed. But uh, nevertheless, we get great things. Eddie Doby Senior, dinky do to you. No denying what camp you're in. Togetherness. I think I'll give that a miss. Does that mean if England win the World Cup, we have to celebrate with our English pals? Why not? Scotland's not in for it. Hi, Scotty, you're live in Hisaronu in Turkey. Say hello to all the natives. Hello to everybody in Turkey. Dinky do from Scotty McClure, the one stop broadcaster and the first lord of the internet. Hello, Scotty, says Kenny Ogg. Can see you're not married, says Derek Jimmy Walker. What are you talking about, Derek Jimmy Walker? How do you know I am not married? Hi there, Scotty, says John Gatons. Rab Hill, did you get your bottle tonight, says Billy Hunter. So there you are. I don't know. I'm sure the nuffs will be around in a wee while. Right, now, lots to talk about tonight, so much to talk about. And, of course, you can watch the World Cup at the same time as watching Scotty McClure. Now, we might not manage the full hour tonight, but tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClure is live on Facebook Live. And um, half at big time, says Rab. Good, Rab's off the booze. Good evening, Scotty. Where are you, says Charles McLaughlin? I can't reveal that, Charles. I am at an unrevealable secret location. But uh, I can reveal that I'm with you and that we're live on Facebook Live, the World Stop Broadcast Platform, live as we speak. Now, you did a good job of sharing last week, not quite as good as you've done in previous weeks, so keep sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing. This is the World Stop Talk Show. We're live on the World Stop Broadcast Platform. Uh, two billion people, just about two billion people, could see us live on Facebook Live. Now, there's nothing to stop that happening, assuming that the old algorithm isn't doing anything. Um, so there we are. So all I say is join us. Roy Stevenson, very fine man, watching their fantastic stuff. Uh, Gordon Sterling's watching for once, thank goodness, because I think this does him a lot of good. He certainly picks up a lot of very, very good tips from Scotty McClue. So there you are, excellent stuff, Gordon Sterling. Scotty, you're right, Scotland should and could go independent. Good to see you back on, by the way. He's at the top secret Scottish independence training camp, says Greg MacArthur. Greg MacArthur, do not tell people all this, uh, because togetherness is for single people, says Derek Jimmy Walker. There we are. No, togetherness is for all people, I say. Dinky do, McClure, says the wonderful Ronnie Stevenson, a fine man, a great fisherman, an angler, I should say. You're now being mirrored live on a big screen in one of the bars in Turkey, so try and act cool. Oh, Andy Seagull, I don't know if I can act cool. I'm a turkey. Way. Right, uh, you don't reveal much, Scotty. Get the beans split. Spilt, I think he means. Uh, you're also on in Russia, Scotty. Scotty's in his own personal nuke shelter because he thinks the Russians aren't taking too kindly to be put out of the world. Up. So there you are. Hello, Scotty, says Christine Garvin. Hello, Christine. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Now, I took a chance popping up tonight because I thought everyone will be watching the World Cup. But there might be people that are fed up that Liz Boyd says, Scotty, for the PM. So there you are, the Scottish PM. Ah, Prime Minister of Scotland. Do you remember the Ying Tong song, Ying Tong Piddle I Po? Absolutely. Love that hat, Dinky Do. Oh, Derek Jimmy Walker. We've got it on at a jaunty angle. So that's what's happening. Karmic McCusker is watching Dinky Do. Karmic McCusker, lovely to have you with us. So tell everybody, guys, you need to be sharing tonight. I don't have a share facility tonight because obviously I'm in a secret location. But if you can do all the sharing, that'd be fabulous. Do you want to sit back a bit and you can see less of my coupon? I hope you're in Russia at the England camp. Stick some laxatives in the tea. 
<laughs> you naughty, naughty person. So there we are. Brandon McEwen, Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, Brandon McEwen, Brendan. So there we are. Must have been a wee mistake there. Uh, there's no games on, Scotty. No World Cup games till Tuesday, says George Drummond. So there you are. So I am an alternative to the World Cup. There's Sharice wanting to go live. But I don't know if you should let her because she got so excited last week. Uh, Scotty McClure is now broadcasting live from the SNPHQ in Edinburgh, says John Gatons. No, John, I'm not stop telling the public Whoppers! Uh, what's your thoughts on England in the semi, Scotty? Well, Christopher Anthony Smith, I think it'd be amazing if they won. It would certainly, uh, you know, calm everything down a wee bit. No games on the night, says Rab. Well, that's good, Rab. So we need to keep sharing and sharing and sharing. Can we have a share point right now? And everybody share and share and share. Mr. McClure, you're thinking independent. You know how it works. Makes us become equals in the world stage. Absolutely. Plus, money needs to come back to Scotland. Hi, Scotty. I'm loving the Wallies, says Murray O'Donnell. All my own, Murray, as you well know. So they are Dave McEwen Hill watching Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. You're doing well keeping the banner on in this heat, Scotty. Not a problem at all. We can have the banner on. If Scotty's in Russia, maybe he could stick some. Oh, that's a terrible thing. Not at all. Wipe your browser, Scotty, says Margaret Primrose. I will, Margaret. I'll disappear, guys. We'll do a quick bit of personal care. A quick mop down, and then back with you. So there we are. How's that? Is that better? England's gone home, Ken, Ken, Ken. There we are. Your brow, not your browser. My, wipe your brow. So that's my brow wiped. Is that better, Margaret? Am I looking a lot fresher? Shared, says Sharice. And the wonderful Matthew Champney watching Dinky Do. What a top man he is. And uh, Sharice Allison, Dinky Do to you, I say. So I'm not competing with the World Cup tonight. Is this correct? Right? Have I said the right thing there? Brian Morrison, Dinky Do. Imagine England getting a semi Scotty. So there we are. <laughs> Take a wee drink, says Margaret. I haven't brought drink with me tonight, Margaret. Too much to do, too much to talk about. We're absolutely maxed at the moment. Sharice is laughing her head off. Sharice, don't be offended. Can't believe you're happy to see England win the World Cup. I thought you were a true Scotsman. Okay, I want Scotland to win the World Cup. There you go. There's a true Scotsman. Better Scotty. No clue to where you are, Scotty, is the Steve Burroughs. No, no, no. We cannot reveal where I am. I am in a secret location. Um, the heat's no good at all, says Sherry. So I don't know. We've thoroughly enjoyed it. Any news on the radio show, Scotty, says Thomas Hamilton. I think it'll be about another couple of months, and then I should have a lot of news for you. There's so much happening and we're talking to very very big people in the industry so there you are i texted my old friend who was in at the start of scotty mcclure last week never heard a peep back very strange hope he's okay you got a tv done so there we are says rab well i might do rab i like bullseye england what we could have won Absolutely. Scotland's in it to win it, says Sharice. More sharing, guys. Share, 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 share. So there we are. Dinky do, Scotty. You're in your basement. You're in your wine cellar, says Brian Morrison. No, 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 Brian. I cannot reveal the location. Please don't try and draw me on it. It's a secret, but as you can see, I'm not in the studio in McClure Towers right now. Scotty has his own secret bunker, says Charisse. Yes, in case everything goes A over T. The English fans are behaving like animals, smashing up cars. Kick them out. Scotty, you're competing with my big fella, says you're getting more attention than he does. Oh, Margaret, I'm sure he's just a wee bit of the, ah, the petted lip. Why not make it like old times and take phone calls? You would have far more than a hundred times the viewers. I know we're working out how to do that. Sammy Stewart's watching. Dinky do Samantha. Lovely to have you with us. Nice teak, says Marisa. 
Park. Thank you, my darling. And there we are, all my own. And 18 home hours, uh, Charisse, uh, you know, the golf, Charisse. Shami Stewart sends me three beautiful hearts. Oh, thank you, my darling. Michael McGuigan is here. Now, Michael, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've all just joined me, you're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the big one. We're live on Facebook Live, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching. We've been competing with the World Cup, but uh, we're not competing tonight, apparently, which is excellent. Share, 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 share. Tell the world, I say. The spaceship's coming for you at 10 p.m., says Derek Jimmy Walker. I know. We have to push off at 10 o'clock sharp. Won't said Stephen Wilmouth. Oh, sorry, won't mention Charisse at all tonight. So they are good, Stephen. Right, we'll give her a bit of a rest, I say. Uh, share with love, lots of it, says Samantha. Fantastic, dinky do. Uh, no, it's aliens are coming. No, 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 no aliens, dear. Don't panic unless people are an alien life form from another planet and they've never actually heard of me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. Fantastic. 20,000 people watching last week during the World Cup. We've had 30,000 watching. Two and a half million of you watching the Facebook live show since we started. I sent you four hearts the other week. Not a word about it. Rab, we've mentioned it now. Okay. So there we are. Ban the England fans. No competing tonight, says so Shelley's just complimenting. What a lovely, lovely thing to do. Can we share again? Let me check the time here, guys. Yep, share, 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 to see the time. Oh, there it is. Absolutely got that. Uh, you're looking cooler tonight, says Sammy. We're a lot cooler tonight. We've got new lighting, Sammy. So I hope it's bright enough for you all. Uh, the Bonnet Club, Scotty, your friends with Fergus McCann, says Brian Morrison, great man, Fergus, actually. Slanted, Scotty. Uh, says Alistair Bajak. In what way are we slanted? So there you are. That's a lot, says Sharice. Yep, two and a half million is a lot for a Facebook video. I'll tell you that. Scott is well kept throughout the solar system and beyond. Absolutely beyond John O'Rourke. Uh, Dunny Pals says Thomas Hamilton. Good stuff. Paul Gordon watching. Dunn says Sharice. Good guys. Share, 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 and just tell people, type, type, type to type, and let them know you're watching Scotty McClue live for one hour broadcasting from a secret location just for you. Dinky do. You can't beat that, can you? So they, <laughs> wonderful. Nice clear picture with no lag like last week. Good stuff. Obviously, we've got a good signal. A uh, big, big communication signal where I'm broadcasting from. Tell the women to do the high dusting, Scotty, says Brian McNeely. Yes, get the women on with the high dusting. I can, I can, I can. Hey, big Scotty. Paul and we, Leslie, watching live, guy. Give us a mention, says Paul Gordon. Paul and we, Leslie Gordon. Dinky do from Scotty McClure. There you go. So you've had a mention. I can tell you that. So attention, please. Type, type, tatty, type, 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 type. Billy Hunter, lovely big smile from you, Billy. Thank you very much indeed. If you've just joined us, guys, you're all watching Scotty McClure, the one stop broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. We're live on Facebook Live just until 10 o'clock. A uh, bit sexist there, Scotty, says Brian Morrison. In what respect? What respect is the sexist? Do you mean telling the women to do the high dusting when the men could do the high dusting as well? So there you are. And um, what about if we have the non-denominational people? So there we are. Non-specific, I say. Non-gender non specific doing the high dusting. Um, so there we are. So not sexist at all. Uh, Alistair Bajak, sorry, Scotty, I'm, and he mentions a Scottish word for having had a refreshment. So there you are. Scott, sorry, Scotty, I'm, I have had a refreshment. It's what Alistair Bajak is trying to tell us. 
And Theresa's saying some days she's had a refreshment as well. Do you think Theresa May will see the month out without... Oh, there we go. Ooh, 20 past. Whoa, what about that, guys? Here we are back. Uh, do you think Theresa May will see the month out without a leadership challenge? Uh, yes, I think she's doing a wonderful, wonderful job with the obfuscation. So there you are. I mean, we're two years down the line with Brexit. There's hardly a dish washed or a potty emptied or anything like that. And uh, here we are. Uh, check 12-12, Susan Copeland Power. Hi, three lovely kisses from Susan Copeland Power. Scotty, think the bowling club turned the internet box off. You're back, but no for long, says Sammy. Lagging on the video. Uh, George Maxwell's watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us, George. Fantastic stuff. And, uh, of course, no, fantastic, folks. Great to be back, I say. Uh, Ian Judge watching. Evening, Scotty. Mrs. McClure is watching Corey, says Michael Paul McVeigh. The aliens have landed, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Now, we just lost you for a second, guys. Nothing wrong with the high dusting, is there? There certainly is not. It is fantastic. Uh, good evening, Scotty. This is Dee Gourley. Tremendous Dee. Lovely, lovely, lovely to have you with us. Oops, says John Gators. Much better signal, says Ryan David Scott. Did you have a pause there? Can you tell me if there was a little pause in transmission? Aliens, says Therese. Oops, says John Gators. Can you tell me, folks, was there a little pause in transmission? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Because remember, I'm not broadcasting in my usual uh, position tonight, if you'll pardon the expression. Huh? So there you go. Huh? Absolutely fantastic. Can we have another share, please? Share, 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 share. No wrong with the high dusting if you're watching, says Sammy. Paul Robinson, didn't you do? What a fine fellow you are. One of the world's great broadcasts and a tremendous executive. Great broadcaster. Great chief executive, Paul. Uh, better now, Scotty, says Rab. Good, good, good. Madness, says Sharice. Yes. Did I lose you for a minute there? Hi, Scotty. I was watching an audience with you. What was funny was when was it recorded? Where did you do that? That was in the theatre at Cumbernauld. We'll be doing another one at some point. I'm uh, going to be talking to somebody about an audience with Scotty McClue. I just had to tell him last week I was a bit maxed. See and hear you loud and clear. I had a pause in Fault House. Well, Fault House quite often gets a pause, doesn't it? Meat pie, sausage roll. Come on, England. Give us a go. So there we are. Meat pie, sausage roll. Come on, England. Give us a go. So the wonderful Matt Champney. Um, I, Scotty, I take my hat off to you. The broadcast was interrupted. Absolutely, yes. Says Gavin, yes, yes, and yes, says Billy. But I'm back with you now. Is this correct? I hope your bonnet is tinfoil lined for all the aliens. There was a pause. That's all. It's hunky dory now, says Margaret Primrose. Yes, there was a pause, but it's all okay. Yes, I can hear you, see you. What were the mumbling pants, Scott? Okay. Are you disapproving of this fashion item now? The mumbling pants. All right, Scotty boy, dinky do, says Robert Patterson. Fantastic. Now, guys, you must also share during the week. Thank you to all of you who've been on Scotty McClure's mega website and popped something into PayPal. You generous, 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 lovely people. All right. Brilliant. I'll come and see that. All right, Scotty boy, dinky do, dinky do, absolutely. So there you are. If you go on to Scotty's website, www.scotty-mcclue.com, you're in good company. Ten million others have been on. Fault House, not that bad. I'm the only one with fiber, and I brush my teeth. So there you are, the fiber connection, right, David Scott and Fault House. Dinky do know, though, says Sammy. Dinky do, Sammy. Lovely to have you with us and welcome. Scotty of England win the World Cup. Should we all in the UK get a public holiday? Well, Scotty McClure's birthday came up about two or three weeks ago. Should we have a public holiday for Scotty McClure's birthday? So there you are. Correct. You know, Kenny McNulty is watching. Dinky do. We'll give you a wave, Kenny. There you are, a little wave for you. Marvellous stuff. It's a cause for a pause. 
Applause for a clause for a pause. Applause for a cause. So there we are. Lorna Smedley Hardy, lovely to have you with us. Either Area 51 or Bonnie Bridge, says Greg MacArthur. Is this your football team, Greg, or is this where you think McClure is broadcasting from? Let's have uh, a bit of feedback on where you think I might be. So there we are. John Adams is shouting to have Sharice on live again. <laughs> sausage roll, no rolls. In sausage are right. England fans are full of hope. <laughs> There's a fluctuation in the space-time continuum thingy. Hello, says Ben Lucas. Hello, Ben. Lovely to have you with us. Apparently... I'm not competing with the World Cup tonight. There are no games on. Does that mean on all the networks? There's no game on any network tonight. Uh, the game was a bit noisy last night. I thought the supporters were a bit noisy, says me. Uh, no. So there we are. Scotty, how are you? How's the weather treating you, says Dave Harley. Well, as you can see, I'm uh, getting beautifully tanned. Uh, who's your birthday, Scotty? Who's my birthday? I'm my birthday. Scotty, news, news, news. The Lothian buses. I missed that. Uh, England shouldn't get a holiday if they win, Scotty. Football's a lovely game. Played by cheaters and supported by fanatics. Harsh, harsh, savage, savage, I say. I think you're in a container doing in the Leith docks. So there you are. No, that was a proper shed we used to broadcast from. Albert Key, number one shed. In the loft of your big posh townhouse, says Sammy. Uh, are you on the moon, Scotty? Broadcasting from the moon. Can you give my friend Dom a mention, says Kevin McNulty. Dave Harley, no games at all tonight. The next one's Tuesday. Good, that means we could probably even do a pop-up if we wanted. So that would be rather good. And um, can you tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure broadcasting live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great global broadcast platforms. Now, we should be going out to around 2 billion people, but you guys need to get sharing and sharing and sharing. That's what I say. Evening, says Andy Hughes. Derek Jimmy Walker says, the white men are taking me away. If England wins the World Cup, the men in the white coats. <laughs> Remember that saying. It might have been harsh and close to the bone, Scotty, but with the exception of a few players and fans, it's true. Are you in the McClue Dungeons? Is the missus sorting you out? Says Gary Crossan. Naughty boy, Gary. Um, so there we go. Now, uh, again, share, share, share. Let me just check the time. Don't you dash off. What have we got? We're about half past nine. Is that right? 9.30 right now. So time, we're just bang on for a share. Scotty, I'm from Glasgow, but I live down in Woolmer Green in Hertfordshire. Say hello, Budgie. That's me. So there you are, Budgie. Anthony James McDeed down in Hertfordshire. In Hertfordshire, Hereford and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly ever happen. Uh, who spilled the beans about Leith? Uh, I'm surprised you can get a signal in your nuclear bunker. There might be a wee signal leaking it. This has been a good test. Might let us know what's happening, Greg. Definitely. We wipe to the brow, guys. Two seconds. There we go. Oh, marvellous. Right, we're back up here. Bit of personal care. Nicola Jane's watching. Dink you do, Nicola Jane. Lovely to have you with us. Thanks, Scotty. You're a top man, Dom says. We've been on live, guys, on a big screen in Turkey tonight. What about that? How many places can you take Scotty McClure to right now? It's the fallout bunker after Brexit. I spotted a kitchen behind you, Scotty. Ah, yes, there is a wee kitchenette handy from where I'm broadcasting. Very self-contained. So there you are. Never a dull moment. More thumbs up and hearts, please. Tap, 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 tap on your screen so that we can have a... Uh, have a wee bit of the hearts there. Spot on. Yes, indeed. And um, Brexit, I think, probably will not happen apart from in name only. 
So there you are. We'll uh, stay in the customs union, stay in with an arrangement, virtually stay in Europe. Uh, are you a Rochester? Uh, my prediction for World Cup final England v Russia. England fans will be found out once and for all. 2-1 to Russia. So there you are. So Brian Morrison thinks it'll end up 2-1 to Russia. 500 miles more. Absolutely, you cannot beat it. Uh, if you've just joined us and you're wondering what on earth's going on on Facebook Live, you're watching Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, and the world's most humble man here for you saying dinky doo. We're working out ways to get you phoning in. Uh, is that a pocket watch in your pocket? Yes, can you see it? So there you are, looking a bit of a toff tonight. Stop wiping that bannet. I'm sweating too. Did you get the squeeze box into the bunker, Scotty? Uh, no squeeze box tonight. Susan Forrest says, hello, hello, dinky do. Scotty, how about hiring me to wipe your brow? Says Margaret Primrose. What a beautiful offer, Margaret. So there you are. So uh, come on, Shirley Slits, we're having you, says Gary Crossan. Scotty, you have an echo like a church hall. Are you in the scouts? I've been in the scouts, the cubs, the sea cadets. Haven't been in the guides of the brownies. But there you are. And um, done my uh, Chick of Edinburgh Award. All that. I'm going for a zero. My nap's too hot. So there you are. Um... They're not in it, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Who's not in it, Derek Jimmy Walker? As long as Margaret stops at your brow, says Stephen Wearmouth. Ooh, you naughty boy. A little bit fresh there, Stephen. Alan Doherty, thank you, dear. Uh, can't phone you the night. That's a downer. No, I can't take calls tonight, Rab. No phones in the bunker, I say. But we will find a way to take calls and uh, all that sort of stuff. It's an Albert since uh, Eddie Doby. Yes, an Albert. You're quite right. Can you see my Albert? There we are. <laughs> Bit of a toff with the old Albert on tonight, you know, but uh, I feel correct. I feel correct. I can remember somebody being interviewed, one of these guys with the uh, the gent's suit on, and he was interviewed um, on uh, the 6 o'clock news. And somebody says, a very hot day. Why are you dressed up with your coat and your bowler hat and your suit on? He went, because I feel correct. I feel correct. So there we are. I spoke with you on your radio station in the early 90s, says Greg MacArthur. Good to see you're still going full steam ahead. We are, Greg, and you'll be hearing and seeing a lot more of Scotty McClure. I can tell you, is it coming home, says Alan Dickinson. Well, Alan, who knows? If we could predict that, we'd be around the bookies, wouldn't we? Wadge is watching. What a fine, loyal fellow. Wadge, lovely to have you with us. And dinky do from me, Scotty McLean. Dinky do, Scotty, says Wadge. So there you are. Uh, thought you were a tranny. No, 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 no. I was on the tranny. So there you are. I used to be on the transistor radio. Uh, cool. Is it really an album? It is, yeah, it is. It's wonderful stuff. Proper stuff. None of your rubbish. McClure doesn't settle for any nonsense. Life is far too short, I say. Lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo. You're watching Scotty McClure. This is the big one. Can we have a share, please, guys? Share, 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 share. There we are. Aidan O'Connell's watching. England to win. Right, there you are. So if we were, if we were betting people, who do you think's going to win the World Cup, guys? Give us an answer. Sick to death of hearing what you sick to death of hearing. So there you are. Sick to death of hearing. Never be sick to death of hearing. It's a wonderful gift, I say. Enjoy your hearing. And uh, so there we are. Don't know what we're sick to death of, but somebody is sick to death of something. They're telling me here. It's absolutely amazing. There we go. Right. Uh, what's going on here? Sorry, folks. I'm just seeing something coming up here. France, sick to death of France. That's a bit harsh. England to win. So there we are. Castles, nothing home. No, I'm not in there. So there we are, but thank you. It's coming home. Belgium, says Greg. So excellent stuff 
Belgium. I leant forward there, guys, and I've not got a table in front of me. I've usually got a table, and there's nothing, so I nearly went, whoa, right up the coupon, right up to the screen. That would have been too much for you, I have to say. Everybody's saying Belgium to win the World Cup. So there you are, excellent stuff. It's coming home, hopefully. Got an Elric dinky do. Uh, Belgium, says Claire Flood. Right, everybody's going for Belgium for winning the World Cup, guys. What do we think? Russia, it's already been paid for. I win 20 quid if Belgium wins. Scotty, that took two of my messages and mixed them up. So there we go. Uh, Scotland, we're getting that Scotland might win the World Cup. This lady obviously not too sure if she's in Weems Bay or Bombay. Susan Forrest, sorry I'm late. Been out celebrating my mother's 80th birthday. And she thinks France will win. And a lovely kiss from Susan down in Lancashire. Dinky do, my darling. All right, Scotty, good to hear your voice again. Cracking bonnet. So with Matthew Roberts. Wonderful stuff. Big note if Scotland brings it home, says Sammy. Um, why said was sick to death of hearing it's coming home and France to win. I see, Stephen. Sorry about that. It just came up as sick to death. And I wasn't sure what was happening because uh, what's happening, the... Um, the, uh, what do you call them, better together mob. I've been saying the Scots are sick to death of independence. No, they are not, is the answer. Battlefield rest. Oh, we love battlefield rest. What an iconic building. Beautifully saved. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Scotty, you've been on the drink the night. You're not looking good, son, says Gordon Crate. Gordon Crate, I look excellent, I think, for 94. It won't be Germany, says Steve Burrows. So they are Belgium. Should all be in the town of London, says Dave Harley. It's oh, a bit harsh. Savage, 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 Dave. Excellent stuff. Guys, can we have another share, please? Share, 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 share. And I mean every single one of you sharing like crazy. Share to your groups. Do you think Stevie G will close the gap on Celtic or will Aberdeen still be second by the end of the season, Scotty? Ooh, that's a hard one, I have to say. And um, Bombay, it's a mix. Well said, Scotty, says Greg MacArthur. Absolutely. No, no, it annoys me when he goes, the people of Scotland are sick to death. How could you be sick to death of one referendum and ticking a box? Anywhere apart from England, because you'll not hear the end of it, says Rab. Deaf or not, says Shammy. Stuart Anderson here, Stevie McChops watching, Dinky Do, more sharing, guys. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's the Scotty McClue Show, and we are live on the big one. Broadcasting live from a secret location. I cannot divulge. I cannot divulge, I say. But there we are. Fantastic. How's that? Time, what have we got time-wise? There we go. I'll just bring the computer here back to life, and it will tell us what the time is. Right? Excellent. Good. There it goes. There it goes. Two seconds, guys. The time is 9.40. Am I correct? Is it 9.40? Somebody tell us the time, please. Come on. Get yourselves in order here. You know, I could look at all that. I've got all the 24-hour clocks around the studio, but the studio's not here. So there you are. I've lived down south for 40 years. After independence, will you be our public information minister? Well, I was highly tipped to run all the media in Scotland if we'd won in 2014. So there you are. And in fact, it's not a question. The big one's in Blackpool. Uh, Q&H Construction. A shout out, please, says Gordon Quaid. Q&H Construction. Dinky do to you. Let's see if we can build... You are following. Do you like that build a following? Um, give us a wee sweetie word, Scott. Ooh, um, uh, bottom. Ooh, I shouldn't have said it. Uh, it's half four, says Rab. It probably is in your place, Rab. Uh, good evening, Scotty, from Norrie Miller. Norman, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Scotty McClue here, saying dinky do to every single one of you. Thank you for joining us. I'm apparently not competing with the World Cup tonight, but I am competing with some very wild people. And we're live on Facebook Live. What is not to like?
Yes, I ask you, what is not to like? So there you go. Uh, keep your calls coming, keep your chat coming. Scotty, how about a wee bit of overtime tonight, says Margaret Primrose. Now, Margaret, you know you do very, very well because Scotty McClue is brought to you at point of consumption, free, gratis, and for nothing. So there you are. But uh, we'll see how we go. Not a problem. Are your checkers advising me on the Brexit charade? So charade, says Paul Michael. No, I'm not at checkers this weekend, although I've no doubt I could get an invitation to checkers any time I wanted. So there you are. Yes, it's 9.40, says Tom. Thomas Hamilton. Pardon me. Hello, uh, David Barry. I thought you were dead says Murray O'Donnell. Stop this political stuff. No, 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 no. We're not being political. We're being economic. McClure doesn't do politics, as you know. So there you are. Do you know that Doug is watching? Are we wave to you? And Hunter George. Lovely to have you with us. Bit of personal care, guys. Just going to swatch round the coupon here. Oh, a swatch of McClure's coupon. Just to cool everything down. I need the clammy chamois on the back of the neck. Uh, I'm enjoying your show from my bunker in Wishaw, says Greg MacArthur. Tinfoil hats, 24-hour ration packs, order of the night. Absolutely, Dad's Army. We're all out there. Um, so there you are. I got called a tranny and a tart over politics. That's not right, is it? No, no, I would have thought the speaker would have stepped in, but stopped to that. Um, it would have said that was not parliamentary language. Uh, I'm only sleeping, Murray, says David. Scotty, how can you read without your glasses on? Well, funnily enough, I can read without my glasses on, uh, but I can't read with them on. So you see, there's been a change in McClure's eyesight. So there you go. I don't even vote. No, I'm sure you don't, but you should do. People died to get the vote. We should all vote. There should be one 100% turnout at the polls. Scotty, see when you get in the live question and answer stuff. Can I get a Phoebe? Uh, would you like to see me presenting question time on the BBC on a Thursday night? Uh, so there you are. Scotty, do you agree? Um, what's that? Something Matthew's talking about. Extra time tonight, says Derek Jimmy Walker. You don't have extra time if there was penalties or if there'd been a foul. So there you are. Or a fish. But then you can't be fish or fowl. Would you like to see Scotty McClue presenting question time on a Thursday night? Give us an answer on that one. Um, I hope that's no a wee dram you're sipping there, McClue. I'm going to make you a wee donation, Scotty, just to torment the life out of my big fella, says Margaret Primrose. Yes, but don't spend all your pennies, Margaret. Just give what you can afford. So there you are. Uh, if you could have anyone on the show to interview on here, even people that are no longer with us, who would be your number one, says Brian Morrison. I think I would probably ask God to come on, just to prove to all the halfwits that he does exist. Yeah? And I would like to have his son on as well. So there you are. It would be quite nice to have Jesus on as well. I hope that doesn't um, offend anybody. It shouldn't do. But I think that would be fantastic and get a chat with them. Uh, I reckon if there was a full turnout voting, Scotty, the country would be very different now. Well, if we'd all listened to Scotty McClure, Scotland would be independent now. So there you are. So they, I support my legs, says Sharice, and they support me. Accept my friend request, says Bob Nix, better than Dimbo. So there you are. And uh, good evening to you, says Nick Baldy. Good evening, Nick. Dinky do, I say. Question time would be fantastic. Good evening. This is question time with Scotty McClure. Tonight on the panel. So there you are. Good evening, sir, says Patrick Paracollins. Yes, says Sharice. Thomas Perry is watching Dinky Do. Uh, God is too busy. I think I should step in, says Rab. Are you God's representative on earth, Rab? What time do you eat your tea? I'll have my tea après show. So there you are. I'll go out to a, a small tea bar and have a wee something. Did you hear about the psychic goalie, Scotty? He saved all his penalties. 
Jesus says, Julie, she would like to hear Jesus on the Scotty McClure show. No reason. Why not? Fantastic. Remember, Jesus dwells among us in his risen, risen power. A wee lock in, Scotty. It's the weekend. Extra sign, says Michael Paul McVeigh. Robert Softly is watching. Thank you, do everybody. If you've just joined us and you're new to Facebook Live on a Sunday night and some crazy old guy in a bonnet has just popped up. It's the world's top broadcaster. It's the first lord of the internet. It is indeed the one and only Scotty McClure. Falchi, Falchi, Don Facebook Live, Agus Scotty McClure. Uh, everyone there has their beliefs, and one should respect the others. So there you are. Good evening, Sir Scotty, says Neil O. Gormley. You should have Sherry Salison on your show, says uh, everybody. It's my dog's time to brush the teeth, Scotty, says Sammy Stewart. I've done my look. Glisten, glisten. I say glisten, glisten as you listen. Uh, so there we are. Uh, God's co-pilot. Yes, absolutely. And I think I might also have, um, I would like to have Nicholas Sturgeon on the show. Um, I would like to, I would like to have Theresa May on the show to ask her a good few questions because people used to say, if you can get by Scotty McClure, you've got my vote. What about that? Um, so there, everyone has God and their own heaven, says Brian. Absolutely, Brian. I could not have put it better myself. Well, perhaps I could. You never know. So there we are. A little bit creative that way. Uh, so would you like to see me doing question time? Think you do for that? Or do you think a bit of comedy or a bit of politics, a straight acting role? How about a baddie in a film? I'll be speaking to you about that. So there we go. Uh, Steve McLean is watching. Scotty, the Bible has been written by humans, right? And uh, in Westminster, you'll understand it's humans. And they talk nonsense. He uses a Scottish word for nonsense. Well said, Scotty. I love your spiritual side. Scotty is God on earth. Um, blinded me there. Lol. Minty. Fresh. Absolutely. Ha! Oh, fresh as a daisy. Just get on Love Island, Scotty. Do an English accent, Scotty. What, what are you talking about then? Why do you want me to do an English accent? Eh? Susan Forrest says I have to do politics. You should get a cameo in River City. That's right. I could be even naughtier than the naughtiest crim. So there we are. Who would you say is the naughtiest crim in River City? Uh, so what about Donald Trump? Get him on. Scotty on Question Time interviewing Margaret Thatcher would be a classic. Well, of course, she's in her scratcher now. She's in her Margaret. Um, a Bond baddie, says Norman Miller. Ah, Scotty McClure on James Bond. Dinky do. I studied religion and found the strength of faith and belief fascinating. And there's an overpowering feeling. I missed that. It just went. Uh, just walking in from work, Scotty sitting eating his tea. Mrs. May missed the deadline to solve the Irish border problem. 28th of June. We'll sort that out. I mean, I think what you'll find is Brexit may well be responsible, be the... Um, the, the fuse for uh, reuniting Ireland and for making Scotland independent. So it's the Brexiteers that are the actual separatists. Love the Cockney accent. Would you do question time? Uh, so there we are. I'd like to see you and George Galloway. George Galloway actually blocked me on Twitter because he'd said that his was the mother of all talk shows. And I said, but Scotty McClure is surely the daddy of them all. That did not go down well, I don't think, folks. We're blocked anyway. Um, Lenny Murdoch, that's it, Lenny Murdoch. Lenny Murdoch's brother. Should I be with Lenny or again Lenny? That's the thing. Should I go up and say things like, Murdoch, I've been looking for you. You need to come and see me. We need to have a word. Oh, frighten myself there, frighting myself. Whenever I hear a cockney tell someone to get out of the house, it sounds like, uh, get out of my house. 
So there we are, says Johnny. So there we are, get out my house. Absolutely. I don't know. I'm not used to hearing Cockneys tell people to get out their house. Scotty McLeod is used to being welcomed in everyone's house. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say to Scotty McLeod, live on Facebook Live, just for you, saying dinky do. Now, this is a shout out show, guys. That's why when people say, why can't you make it something else? That's what it is. It's a shout out show, but it's massive. So there's a two and a half million of you have seen it since Reconnect. Whoa, we're back with you. How about that? Uh, now, good night, pal. See you next Sunday. Have a great week, says Thomas. How about being the new milk train man? All because the lady loves. Yes, I need to get the weight down a little bit. Maybe give up having too much milk tray. And um, if you interview Nicola Sturgeon, ask her about Govan Hill, says Charles McLaughlin. I'm quite sure we would be doing that. Charles, uh, George Brown is watching, dinky do buffering here, says Margaret Primrose, a little bit of buffering Margaret I say, uh, but don't worry we've only got a few minutes left anyway interrupted again, says Sammy but I hope we can keep it as one show Sammy, because it's been an incredible show tonight, when you think I'm not in the uh, main studio at McClure Towers, I am in a secret, undisclosable location Interruption again, Scotty, we be extra time tonight. So there we go. Um, now, if Brexit is forced through, the troubles will start again. I have no doubt. Some people are just looking for an excuse to start again. No, but I think we should talk to them, Stephen Wearmouth, because the Good Friday Agreement was the most fantastic thing ever. So there you go. And uh, Gerrit says Sharice, good night, pal, have a great week, and I'll see you next Sunday. Good night, Thomas, all the very best, lovely to have you with us, and dinky do from Scotty McClure and from the rest of the world. Remember, we're live globally here, guys. Uh, then you, uh, Dandelion and Burdock, uh, good night, uh, good night, good morning, Scotty from Australia, you're welcome at my house. How's the foxes, Erica Meyer? Erica Meyer, you are such a lovely, lovely, loyal viewer. It's fantastic to have you on. As you've been on since the start, and you probably heard me say two and a half million people have watched the Scotty McClure Facebook live show. All the radio stations were just laughing at me at the start. But remember, they all laughed at Christopher Columbus when he said the world was round. They all laughed when Edison discovered sound. So there we are, Scotty McClure, back on the radio back on the television just for you saying dinky do fantastic stuff 26 years of Scotty McClure last week how good is that well maybe it's a fortnight ago now uh, lots and lots of superb feedback tonight guys thank you very very much for that and um, I think it's just about time to push off am I right uh, tell 10 to tell 10 Wally Kay's just joined us Wally fantastic We'll give you a wee wave. Where have you been, la? So there we are. What did the fox say, says Sharice? The fox just said to me, thank you very much for the biscuits, Scotty. Thoroughly enjoyed them, and I'll see you tomorrow night. That's what the fox said, a wee visitor. Stick your 50p in the meter, Scotty, says Craig Arthur. I know, Craig. Uh, the only problem with internet technology is in a very hot night like this, it can fade. You can get things like that. But... It's brought us all together. And out is better than nout, as they say in Cumbria and Lancashire. So anything is better than nothing. Scotty, you should become the mayor. Yeah, ding dong and dinky do. The witch is dead. Up the workers, says Greg MacArthur. Harsh and savage, Greg, but we know what you mean. I was in Yorkshire at the time of the miners and what have you. So I saw the damage that the Thatcherite policies did to this country. And I have to say, we haven't seen a lot of improvement. We need a lot of money coming back to Scotland. The sooner, the better. Scotty, what's your take on the Edinburgh accent? Edinburgh, talking like that, Matthew. If you're from Edinburgh, you speak like that to you every day, kid. Well, I'm telling you, another great show as always, Scotty. Uh, fit about it, Doric. That's the one I like. Uh, uh, you can talk about it, Doric, if people are free of the brook, or free of the soy, or free of the culling, or Peter Heed itself, 
or free the bucky or Aberdeen is sail Ken uh, there we are Andy McClaw is watching Dinky Doo Andy a big wave to you I say and Dinky Doo from Scotty McClure the one stop broadcaster the first lord of the internet what a fantastic show tonight guys do you like the new lighting are you up for that Knight Thomas says Sharice Knight Sharice says Thomas and a dinky do excellent to have you all with us if you want to stick a fiver or something into Scotty McClure go on to Scotty McClure's website www.scotty-mcclure.com or put in Scotty McClure website up it will pop and you will see the logo for PayPal 100% secure you can stick your card in stick in a fiver business done I can keep improving the show for you dinky do but only give what you can afford and don't give if you can't afford but go on to GoFundMe and share and share everything throughout the internet linked in if you're a business person the Scotty McClure YouTube channel stick that into your Google Scotty McClure live on Facebook live nine o'clock sharp Sunday night did you do we Kathy Beattie remembers you back in the 80s she's 77 says Scott Beattie and uh, Knight Thomas says Sharice goodbye everybody says Sammy what does the fox say says Brian Morrison the fox says thanks for the biscuit Scotty I'll see you tomorrow night and dig you do good night have an amazing week says Susan Forrest you have an amazing week too my darling you were Edison's apprentice says Greg MacArthur somebody actually said Scotty McClure has done the most for radio than anyone since Marconi what about that I don't quite agree because I think John Reith um, of Glasgow did a tremendous amount for radio when he started the BBC just four of them dig deep peeps even if it's just a pound he's no greedy says Sammy no I'm not Sammy I'm just very very grateful because it helps to buy little bits of equipment that's how we got the new lighting that's how we got the better camera um, with a bit of crowdfunding so if you see Scotty McClure crowdfunding join in stick in a few pounds or send it round share and share and share you told me off for laughing at the wife says Derek Jimmy Walker don't laugh at the wife Derek Jimmy is not a wise move karma will come back and bite you on the bottom uh, PayPal uh, Disney Bounce I've done it says Sharice you have Sharice thank you so much for your kindness and for your generosity I should have sent you a little email hopefully you've got that Neil Hallgate's watching uh, Sharice you're a star chick says Sammy how fantastic is that guys you're all star people one more big share 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 I think we're coming up to the end of the show now I'm just going to check again uh, oh dear oh dear so difficult to see the time yes we're out of time McClure's got to go that's the end of the show we've got to go I say dinky do to every single one of you time for the song are we ready Goodbye everybody, goodbye Take care everybody as you go Goodbye everybody of waiters in Au revoir and the cheerio Dicky do everybody This is Scotty McClure saying Ta-ta for noon